All right, so we're back with another saga. We're doing some new stuff today. We're going to explore a new hex. Uh, does anyone want to tell me about the ch the hex that you've chosen to go explore? I believe it is a kind of like an oil rig you mentioned, right? It's like this big platform out on the sea uh, with billowing smoke. Right, but a fantasy oil rig. <laughs> fantasy oil rigs! <laughs> fantasy fracking. <laughs> you saw this when you were uh, taking the Caradron airship uh, from Gromerstown to Drizzle Drop Isle. Mm -hmm. So with the way the hex crawl is going to work, you guys are going to be traveling through zones that you've already uh, conquered. already conquered, purified, whatever you'd like to say. <laughs> Colonized, <laughs> whatever um, makes you happy. Fortunately, <laughs> whatever makes you happy or wherever you're at. <laughs> it's actually, you guys are pretty much doing everything in a straight line so far. We're, you're basically going northeast from Glade's Edge through Gromerstown, through Caldera Isle, and into this... Uh, mysterious oil rig looking place we're doing the uh the classic battleship theory mm -hmm. uh you know practice you go zigzag all across and try to hit the battleships <laughs> where are you hiding those battleships dave <laughs> so with us today we have murray chu with phallus osisposen that's me <laughs> and we have okri okerson the aether chemist i suppose i should also be saying your classes that's right it's kinda, that's important yeah i'm nico by the way hi. yeah hi did you didn't say uh, my name that's, that's oh, okay. okay. <laughs> he didn't want to pronounce your last name. Exactly. Yeah, I got I got shit for that last time. Yeah. You did it really well. Okay. I heard I, you audibly puked. <laughs> I heard that. I was editing and I had heard that in its luscious detail. Yeah, yeah. And finally, last uh, we and have least. last and least <laughs> Jonathan Franco, aka Franco as Cass, the cowpoke. Yep, that's me. Cass the unkillable. A dead, cast the al always almost dead. Cast the tank. <laughs> yeah. Like so. So tell me about this. So uh, we were discussing just before about like your tough. Or should we? I don't know. We should be role playing this situation. But I'm just <laughs> trying to think. Like in okay. Cass's mind, you're hurt. Uh -huh. Why are you going to be going out on another adventure? Uh, that's my duty. I I signed up to this. I'm getting paid. I've got a I've got a goal to to fulfill and it, a personal one at that. And you know the. Uh, the faster I can do that, the faster I can, uh, you know, get the heck out of here. And um, along with that, since uh, you folks have added a new island to uh, with your arrangement, uh, you're going to be getting a sphere of Aqua Garanus. So that's that's Okri and Cass for going on that mission. <laughs> nice. And you guys are also going to get one XP for returning the island, and another bonus XP actually because you managed to save, uh, save that uh, Rune Smiter. Nice. So. Um, you're gonna have two to spend. Um, did you spend them already? I am currently shopping for what to uh, what to do with it. Okay. I'm, well, if you can, uh, I think I'm just gonna resolve that before we get going. Absolutely, <laughs> I'm going to spend it to up my soul to two, which will give me better. I'm assuming more wounds, more toughness, and uh, eventually more metal. Okay. So yeah, just make sure that uh, your your character sheet is updated because yeah. you'll probably need that. Doing that right now. Um, Cass, are you doing anything? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, I don't really i think i can just hold on to it until i can i can put in a little bit more trying to figure out where i want sure. to go with Cass. gotcha so yeah the the kind of the, the rubric for anyone listening uh, and wants to know about how we're assigning xp um we basically have a rate of like when you uh clear a hex because we're our our campaign is very like you know grid based um if you're going through and you clear a hex you get one base xp uh and then there's usually other things um that might add additional ones uh, onto that so it's very situational for that stuff mm -hmm. basically it's all you know appeasing dave mm -hmm. <laughs> it's right <laughs> um how much did you amuse me get yes. some xp as all tabletops games should be it's <laughs> yeah. all about appeasing the dm <laughs> dance monkeys <laughs> yeah and uh murray did you upgrade anything for fellas recently i know we had the endeavor episode i don't think you had anything since then did you no so i, I did receive uh three xp for the adventure i went on with uh frostglade and Bort Jortson, um, I put those into reflexes uh, so that it uh, actually bumps up my initiative now, which I never had wanted to have high initiative, but it, what it also did was it improved my defense, which is what I was more concerned about. Ah, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. I didn't realize that like, reflexes did so many things, and I was just like, oh, well, I guess I'll take it. Um, <laughs> I had considered taking a couple. I have two talents that I've been holding on to, um, but I'll probably just just keep them on the back burner for now until I, I see how, you know, Phallus develops. Because I'm not only doing it like, oh, what's the best thing to do? I'm also trying to think, you know, from a, a character perspective, right? You know, from a roleplay perspective of how the character himself wants to 
uh, develop and what he thinks would be best. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's kick this off. You're all going to this uh, mysterious smoky platform in the middle of the sea. So let's uh, let's get to it. Uh, so uh, Fallas, uh, Okri, and Cass, you're aboard the other ship. You guys have two sloops at your disposal. Uh, one is the Sloopadoop. Yes. And the other is what was it, Fallas? Oh, uh, dreams of sails. Dreams of sails. Yes, because it's the rowboat. <laughs> that I wish it had sails. It's a, it is a sloop. It does have it has both. I'll, I'll just clarify that fact for you. Thank you. Uh, you you have oars. <laughs> you have oars <laughs> and sails. Um, so you're able to 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 make it out. What's the difference between these two ships? How do they look different? Uh, I'm I'm gonna say the color. You had the different paint okay. job. <laughs> yeah, they have a yeah. different paint job. One has one, one is black with flames. Yeah, and the other one is. Well, it, it's funny because um, I used to play this um, MMO called Puzzle Pirates. Actually, it's called Yo Ho Ho Puzzle Pirates. Repeated YPP. Yes, yeah. such a great game. And Sloops is the is the the smallest ship you can get back when I was playing. Um, I know they mm -hmm. have smaller ones now. Um, and yeah, you can definitely get paint jobs on your ships. Um, so I don't know, is there, does the Storm's Mandate have like, you know, like a banner, uh, with like colors and stuff like that? Um, I, I actually totally down for you guys to decide that. Um, so you actually do have a, a Storm host of, of Stormcast Eternals that are with you. They do have a color scheme in their own heraldry, but that's not necessarily the same as the Storm's Mandate itself. I think if you guys want to come up with some kind of logo or a color scheme, absolutely. That's awesome. It's cool. What do you cloud. think, Okri? You're the, you're the painter here. Um, or I guess Nico, rather. <laughs> I was going like, to say, like, are we like, doing this yeah, in character? Okay. What? <laughs> in character, Okri plays Warhammer. Um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, no. Now I'm going to want to paint people as up as the Storm's Mandate now. Ah. I, every, like traditional traditional stormy colors is like blue and white i guess yeah Silver. that's actually yeah so the stormcast with you do have that that color scheme they have like white armor with like aquamarine kind of what, secondaries what color is torlan like what's the torlan shell oh, and uh kind of like green. skin skin color good question so yeah it, it is kind of piled up with um with uh stuff yeah stuff uh, Torland's colors. I don't know if we've said this in canon I don't yet, think so, but yeah. um, it's kind of like this light kind of teal that kind of goes back towards the shell, and the shell is like a darker kind of like rich maroon color. So I think we figured out the colors. Yeah, so I, I like the teal because it's kind of like teal blue. and maroon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so the dreams of sail I would say is going to be teal with kind of like silvery white highlights, um, and then the sloop dupe is maroon and brown. <laughs> That's all it needs. Red, brown and brown. All right. Hell yeah. I dig it. All right. So as this, uh, as the dreams of sails plies through the water, you have the Simmer Soul Sea. This is another DM note. Uh, I talked to Murray. Or sorry, I talked to Franco and Nico about this before, uh, and I got the name for the sea wrong in the first episode and just kind of went with it. Um, but we're at a point where I want to correct it. So it's not the Soulfire Sea, because that's literally the core mechanic of Soulbound. <laughs> um, it is the Simmer Soul Sea. Ah. I realized this like a little while after I had said that in an episode uh, while I was in the shower Whoops. and just swore. Uh, just, <laughs> just in the middle of a shower. Just, while yeah. he was just bathing in the yeah. sea. He just, yeah. So <laughs> he we'll, we'll correct that now. You're in the Simmer Soul Sea. It is, uh, for anyone interested, it is northeast of um, the Great Parch in Akshi. Mm. Um, so you're, you're plying through the waves. You hear this uh, sweet, fresh like sizzle of the water lapping up against oh, your boat. No, I'm thirsty. Um, the, this, the sails this ocean uh, this not... tastes like fresca. <laughs> <laughs> How refreshing! The sails whip back and forth as you you make your way over, and um, you see you've been tracking this for a while. You see these thick black plumes of charcoal esque smoke just ripping out from this platform. Um, and as you begin to you know make your way past Caldera Isle, now calmed av after your binding has put down the the raging creature inside of it, and the, uh, you see this in the horizon. And as soon as you clear Caldera Isle, you actually s um, smell this harsh sting of tar reaches your nostrils and just stings the tip a little bit. And it comes into view. Uh, you see this structure rising out on four key pillars with a central column in the middle. And uh, it is hewn from like just scraps of like brass and stone. Uh, so you can imagine um, it is uh, about five meters from the water's surface is the first layer. Uh, and that is uh, that's standing up above. You see the waves kind of crashing up and occasionally splashing onto this, uh, this meter. Uh, and then above that, you have a more 
specific platform where you have this giant wheel. It's a vertical kind of wheel oh. on the side, uh, and it is rotating like evenly. And what you're seeing is next to that wheel is a giant um, smokestack that's just ripping out this like deep, deep black uh, smoke into the sky. And you know you're still a ways away from it. You know uh, what do you all do? Um, so you know, Phallus, he's he's hoisting the sails, steering the boat. Hoisting the colors, I believe. Yeah. Is that <laughs> why does he keep hoisting the sails? They're already at, like they're already at maximum <laughs> hoistedness. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Phallus just spots Okri just kind of mulling around. He shouts out to him, you know, Mr. Okri, I've been thinking. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe it's time to change my name. Oh? Oh? Yes. I'm no longer a bosun on Oss's ship. So oh. perhaps it's time to change my last name. Oh, all right. Uh, well, that's disappointing. Uh, what, what? Change what? <laughs> well, you see, we're part of the storm's mandate. Yeah. So here, you listen. You tell me what you think. Phallus, storm's mandator. No. Oh. Uh, Cass, what do you think? What's Cass doing? <laughs> Cass is staring out over the ocean. She's got her foot on the front of the boat. Poncho billowing in the wind. Yeah, no, she's the just... poncho's gone. <laughs> the poncho, oh, the poncho had to be uh, let go, unfortunately. Um, but. <laughs> On the plus side, they do have a good stock of ponchos uh, on oh. Torlin. So. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Uh, the cast opens the closet and it's just all ponchos. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the, the exact same pattern. <laughs> and they're Which all one like, today? properly ripped up at the right spots. Like they've all got the same wear on yeah, them. They're distressed ponchos. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she nice. puts it on and like a small like poof of dirt comes out from it. <laughs> it's just ah. right. Uh, Cass, as you're on the front of this ship and you're you're staring at the horizon, uh, go ahead and do an awareness mind check. I think I might. The goal of uh, the storm's mandate is to unite the the islands. What has kind of like brought us out here is kind of what I want to discuss with uh, my my companions. Like, uh, are we are we on maybe more of a scouting mission to see what's going on over here? We notice this um, this oil rig, uh, or is there like a specific goal we have in mind? Um. I see this as a scouting mission to kind of like touch yeah, base. Yeah, this is reconnaissance more than anything, right? Okay, cool. I would assume so. Um, so I'm looking for awareness here. Mm -hmm. Rolling four dice. Do a 5-2 on this awareness. 5-2. I only get one uh, success on that. Um, the smoke is also, you know, seemingly like causing some issues and you kind of get a sense that there's like some, almost like some fuzziness that's blocking your vision from the top layer of the tower. Okay. Your poncho flips up in your face <laughs> at the wrong moment. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, please. And I'm going to flip on some uh, some lenses, and I'd like to do an awareness check, please. <laughs> what do you mean, Cass, uh, please? You can, <laughs> what did you do? Like, look at her and then infer that she couldn't uh, see? Like, <laughs> Yeah, no, exactly. It's like, please. I can tell your eyes are closed. <laughs> tell, I can tell you have regular human eyes. Come on now. And uh, I'm going to take a look-see with my cool sci-fi tech eyes. And what, specifically, specifically, what does your goggle do? Like, what, what does it cut out? They improve my natural sight and grant, grant enhanced visual fidelity when inspecting objects from a great distance. They, get me, they give me witch sight and grant an additional 1d6 to any mind awareness checks. Okay, gotcha. Cool, so we'll, we'll do the witch, uh, the witch sight thing. Yeah, same, same check, 5-2. Uh, I have got uh, two successes. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so Okri, you're you're taking a look at this platform. Uh, you notice the uh, telltale signs of magical aura on Ooh. the very top of this platform, oh. rippling out. Hmm. Um, you also notice a few other things. You notice that on the top of this platform, like the edge of the top layer, has been uh, lashed uh, together with um, you know bits of stone and wood. Um, kind of around the edges. So there's like a wall on the top side, so you can't really see like what's on the base layer. Yeah. But you can see that there's a this you know this big wheel that's churning back and uh, back and forth. There's a central column that's like spewing out all the smoke, as I mentioned. Um, you also see two small towers um, that come up. They're on opposite corners of the square platform. Uh, you see on the sides, you actually notice a um, a pair of ragged banners hanging down. Okay, they are mottled yellow they have like flecks of um you know blue on it uh in the very center you notice that there is the sigil of a rat skull um in black and it has this around the rat skull you see there's three uh three black dots one on each uh top left top right and bottom um if you'd like to you can also make a lore mind check Ooh, i think i will 
Uh, lore, uh, what, what's the number I'm trying to hit here? It's going to be a six one. Okay. Uh, I got it. Nice. Uh, you recognize this banner as the sigil of Clan Bilgerot. Um, nah. You know that they are a small Skaven clan. Um, they are uh, particularly known for their naval prowess. And uh, they also have an association with, uh, you know, the Lord of Decay. Ugh. Rats. I love Skaven. <laughs> I love Skaven. <laughs> I love Skaven. Ugh. And I, 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 I flip up the mouth guard and I spit into the sea and flip it back down. <laughs> Spits into his mouth guard yeah. and it slides down. His <laughs> ah! oh, you've ruined the fresca. Yeah. A bunch of, yeah. A bunch of village yeah. rats. Disgusting. The other thing you notice, uh, Okri, as you've, you've kind of done this, uh, this, this realization of this check, the water around you stemming from this platform yep. um, is sick. You notice ah. that um, there's no aquatic life here. Um, everything is pretty much dead. You actually spot a coral reef that you pass by as your, your ship goes that is like completely bleached uh, oh. and deceased. This place doesn't look very environmentally friendly. <laughs> and the other part of it was... Let's see. Are you so? Where are you going with your ship? Are you moving towards the platform still? Does it look uninhabited? You're you're wondering about that. Um, you know, you do see that the wheel is moving. Um, you actually also catch the glint of a lens in one of those two <gasps> watchtowers. Hmm. Uh, I think one of them might have may have seen us by now. Uh, well, might as well go and clear out those rats, right, guys? <laughs> I believe we should start taking evasive actions. Mm, yeah, <laughs> just start paddling one side. <laughs> Just to be clear, Mr. Oakry, we, we're not going to be talking to them. We're going to be straight to the hurt. Uh, the rats and, uh, nope, absolutely not. Straight to the hurt, please, Phallus. All right. I will keep that in mind. From what I know, uh, it seems like they're plague rats, too. Well, I don't suppose they've heard of sustainable energy. No, it does. I'm, I look at, like, floating oh, dead man. fish. <laughs> is, this, is this our very special episode? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so I want Athletic's body from Okri and Phallus. Um, Okri, uh, you're going to have advantage because you spotted the lens. Okay. Uh, you so said on, on fours? Threes. On fours normally, advantage makes brings you down to threes. Okay. Uh, I got three successes. I've got the okay. opposite. Okay. Um, so uh, <laughs> let's do a quick roll here. Okay, <laughs> I think what happens is um, you hear like a telltale crack and you hear like, Sim! you hear this bullet uh, stream right towards you. Um, Okri, you catch it out of the corner of your eye as you were watching that, uh, that lens uh, and you hit the deck. Um, and Phallus, from where you're standing on the, uh, the deck of the ship, you feel it before you hear it, but you get this uh, pain uh, in your shoulder as a, a bullet rips into you. It's going to be four damage penetrating. Okay. Oh, no. So it goes through my armor? It goes through one point of armor. Okay. All right. So I have two armor. Um, I also have advantage against range attacks with my oh, cloak. Okay. So I don't know if that matters. Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and reroll then. You'd be on threes. Okay. Yeah, well, it... I, I rolled a one, two, and a three. So. Okay. So then. Uh, I, I, I no. remember what my roll is. I don't, I don't want to yeah. change what D my. Defense is yeah. one step higher when you wear the cloak when you're targeted by a range nice. attack. That's nice. That is really good. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not wearing the dragon scales for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do? Well, uh, I had hoped that we could uh, be diplomatic about this meeting, however, and then Cass will unshoulder her uh, rifle, which she has not used yet uh, in this campaign, um, but has always been there. I promise you that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just underneath the poncho. Precisely. <laughs> All, I keep things hidden under there. So we're since you guys are on board the ship, uh, we're going to dig a little bit more into to boat movements later. But to keep things a little bit simple right now, you're at extreme range at the moment. And you can basically use an action uh, amongst yourself to move the ships closer. All right, I'll start rowing, and I just kind of start <laughs> eh, 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 start rowing faster. Row faster, yeah. boy. Row faster. Row like I'm being paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cass, please try and cover some fire. Stupid rats. Is, 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 is there a covering fire? I wish there was something like that. Is there an action like that? Covering fire. Um, we can do dodging, defending shoving yeah well, i mean we, we could just take evasive motions and just mm -hmm. uh, do so, like putty um, you movements. can do a couple things kind of like covering fire like we could say like you're doing uh doing a defend or doing a dodge something like that kind of could reflect that in, in fiction you'd be like you know putting up your your guns and shooting mm -hmm. you've got halo dude 
just shooting in the air. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> How yeah. effective. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm reading up on defend right here. Choose an ally within close range until the start of your next turn. Attacks and spells that target that ally target you instead. I mean... Oh, I guess that's yeah. right up Cass's alley. Yeah, um, no, that's right. Kirby <laughs> yes. instead. Uh, no, I don't think that that makes sense in this in this case. Yeah. Um, you could take evasive movements, right, which should improve your defense by one. Yeah. Uh, what we could do is we could treat it as like a ballistic skill check and not have it be like damage, right? Sorry. We could. What do you mean? We could do like a ballistic skill like skill check where it's not like an attack, right? So you roll like a five, whatever, five two ballistic skill to see if you like lay down covering fire or something like that. Oh, sure, yeah, we can do uh, an improvised action, yeah, right. that makes sense. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, so go ahead and do that. Um, you can make try and get them to take... So you're not going to be doing any damage. Although, what's the range of your weapon? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so for the rifle, it is a long range. You can shoot, your accuracy goes down by one step. So what we'll do in this case, just to kind of reflect that, uh, the difficulty is going to go up. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll do it on fives, do a, do a ballistics check. Okay, ballistics check ballistics on fives. skills body check. Let's roll. So on fives, uh, that's three successes if I use my focus. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's say you gave them disadvantage uh, as they are trying to fire on you. Uh, Phallus, what are you doing? We'll just kind of keep it to one action each as you guys move up. I would do evasive actions because I mean, like, I'm more concerned about getting this boat right over there. Sure. So I want to I want to steer the boat towards a place where we can land uh, while mm -hmm. taking evasive actions, which hopefully will improve my defense. Where is evasive actions? On that's here? dodge, right? Dodge, sorry. Yeah. Or our defense increases by one step, yeah. So I'm rowing. Yeah, Phallus I'm is dipping, skipping. Dunking. Yeah, Dip, Phallus dunk, is dive. skipper. And then uh, Cass is just at the prow, just like Winchester rifling. Just <laughs> uh, Yeah, we'll say you go from extreme range down to medium range now at the start of this next... Uh, oh, now wow, we okay. can shoot them. <laughs> that's that's the power of Okri rowing and Phallus <laughs> steering. I have servos in the armor. It's, it's really... It's, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that athletic. <laughs> You actually just dip your toe in there, it becomes a little fan. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, we should have done reflexes for that first dodge, which would have been actually a lot better. It would have been a lot better for me. Uh, let's see. It's a difference of two dice for me. So. Okay, we'll reflect this again, because these guys are firing is more of a hazard than an actual an attack. Mm -hmm. um, what they're doing right now is actually all three of you now need to do this reflex body check. Um, but because of the covering fire, we're going to make it easier for you guys, so you're going to have advantage. So on threes? It was on fours the first time you had. Oh, it was on fours? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So all, on threes for all of you. Okay, and my cloak doesn't make a difference. We said it did last time, so we'll do it again. You're going to be on twos. Whee! Oh. Dip, duck, dodge, dive. Three, uh, I have three successes, my friend. Cool. Uh, I have two successes. I, I wrote three ones. <laughs> and so I want to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. Mm -hmm. It's body reflex, and I yep. add an extra d6. Why do you dodge? No, why do you, you, add you, you your, your successes are on threes, is what the yeah. advantage is. Okay, I was just reading the dodge action. Um, oh, that part of it. Oh, yeah, you add one dice to your pool for body yeah. reflex tests. Yeah. Well, yep. I will do that then. All right. Okay. And then, Thank you, Franco. Yeah, I didn't know that. You dodge even more than before. Hey, man, I'm just, yeah. I'm just reading the rules. Somebody's yeah. got to. Um, I got three successes then. <laughs> cool. Yeah, and yeah. I'm on six successes then. Oh, what? Jesus. What? <laughs> yeah, I got all fours <laughs> and a five. <laughs> she How shot much? the bullets out of the air. Uh, Okri, what did you get? Uh, I got three successes. You got three. Okay, so you're going to take two with one penetrating damage. Oh, no. So, yeah, they're, um, you can see these rats kind of like, you know, they're, they're dipping down, and you actually can see them now at this point. Um, they, they come up off over the edge of the uh, watchtower. Um, you know, they're little, little, you know, little rat-ass heads looking at you. <laughs> um, they have like a long, uh, really long rifle that, um, that kind of like takes aim. Uh, you feel these shots crack off as your ship approaches. Yeah. Um, and Okri, you take one. It it, it uh, scores your thigh. Ah, my ham. Not the hammies. Not my hams. Uh, so you said it's <laughs> Why does three? it always come How back to my know? hams? I know, it's always my goddamn hams. It's like 60% of his whole body size. Yeah. yeah. So I, I also had three uh, successes, Dave. Do I also take two damage? Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah. I am down right. four. Cast or just down three, rather. Fucking wanted, just shooting the bullets out of the air. <laughs> uh, so now that you're within medium range, uh, basically what you're going to do, if you're, if so, if, I'm making an assumption here, but what are you? Are you guys trying to like basically come up alongside the platform? I mean, I figure at this point it's probably better to try and storm the uh, storm the uh, this rig rather than you know be sitting ducks on out in the water. We are the storm's mandate, after all. 
Are we? What do you uh, think, guys? Are we in earshot of each other? Sloop's not very big. No, not of not of each other, Murray. Of the their oil rig. <laughs> Given the situation, I'll just say, like, you know, based on the conditions that Cass would be aware of, it'd be very difficult for them to hear All right, you. that's cool. Uh, let's get in uh, closer and attempt to parlay with these heathens. Oh, my God, I can't wait to kill some rats. <laughs> <laughs> wait, parlay means talk. Are we talking or are we shooting? No, the, we're going to be killing them, Phallus. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, I feel like we should uh, at least give them a chance for diplomatic relations. If you give them a chance, they'll just stick a knife in your back or your ribs. I don't know, Cassie Lassen. It might be because you didn't take a bullet to the shoulder or the hammies, but uh, I'm not in the mood for talking. <laughs> this is all a misunderstanding. Then. I'm sure that a couple of, of words and uh, perhaps a glass of tea or a cup of tea, will, uh, will we can clear this all up. Yeah, right. I'm sure the lava monster wanted to talk, too. Cass rubs her burns. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you see, as you come up alongside, you notice there is on top, there's two layers to this general uh, platform. You have uh, one section that's basically a series of rickety walkways along the bottom. That's the stuff that's five meters up from the, the waves. Um, you can see that there are, are like access points to get on there if you move your ship alongside. Um, like basically ladders hanging down, ropes, and so on, so on. Mm -hmm. um, there is a one ship actually moored here, you can kind of see. Um, on the other side, it's like this just shitty, like, <laughs> like scrappy, like ship. It's, you know, maybe 20 feet in length, but nothing too, uh, too dire or like excessive. Um, you can actually notice that while you're down here, actually do a, do an intuition mind Ooh. on, uh, on five, one intuition mind, everybody. Yeah. Oh, I got nothing. I got nothing. All right. I actually, actually have intuition. Phallus, um, Phallus, you given your nautical experience, uh, have advantage, and you're going to be on four one. Oh, uh, then I have one. I got oh, yeah. all right. Well, that worked yeah, out. <laughs> I got six five five um, six. So, tell us about this boat. So, sea tactics. <laughs> you guys would know that um, based on the way that this is set up, um, the fleet is not here right now. You can tell that there are ships associated with this platform. Oh, um, but they're not present, except for this one little, you know, crappy dinghy. Uh, they didn't bring the crappy dinghy with them. That's a surprise. Mm. Um, you also, yeah. So uh, other than that, you know, there's these walkways, and then you know, looking up a level, there's not, there's, you can't see any creatures on this walkway, um, but you do see like a ladder leading up to what you assume would be the top level. Mister Oakry, it looks like most of their army is already out. Yeah, we caught them at a good time. <laughs> Thankful for that. I'll say that much. That would have been very unfortunate. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and moor the boat. Cool. Um, yeah, so you'd have to, someone would have to move it in first. I, I'll just say that that kind of happens yeah. if that's what you're doing. Let's stop rowing and let, like, the, the momentum kind of carry us in. Watch the paint sure. job. <laughs> <laughs> how many, uh, how many ways up the platform are there? You said there was a ladder. Are there, like, multiple ladders, stairs, etc.? Um, those are pretty frequent that you'd be able to kind of just grab on and go up. Okay. Um, but there's only one, uh, hatch with ladder up to the top level. Okay. So there's a couple of ways up, but there's only one place to get onto the actual rig. Yeah. What mm -hmm. to, speaking of rigs, is would we know if this thing is actually like drilling for oil or something? Like, is oil a thing in, in the Great Parch? <laughs> um, let's see. Ether Can gold? You, do, you could do either a lore mind or uh, an intuition mind to kind of in, infer what's going on here. That'll they'll, Those will kind of give you different sets of information. I'd like to do a um, lore you guys mind. Do, sure. I'll hit do either of those. It's going to be on fours and twos. All right. Uh, Fowles is not even thinking about that. All right, um, um, <laughs> I got, I got, a, I got a three successes on intuition, the intuition side of that check. Okay, I uh, okay. since I'm a chemist, I get to double like chemistry related lore. Uh, would that sure. apply? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. In that case, I have two successes. That's great. So Cass knows more about chemistry than Okri does at this moment. No, no, no. I well, just you guys a... were doing different checks because yeah. you were doing an intuition yeah. and, and Okri is doing lore, so we'll actually ah. be able to paint a more vivid picture here. Oh. Um, so Cass, uh, as you get closer to this thing, you know, there's the four pillars on the outside along with the center one that I had mentioned before. Um, you hear like this really big scraping, drilling, kind of suction-y noise. Um, and this this whole pillar goes down deep into the depths. Uh, and you kind of kind of hear like this sediment being like brought up right okay uh, and you hear like the kind of this this whirring motion as this uh, this drill goes deeper and deeper in okri yeah it's certainly not like oil per se but you know that there is uh the propensity of uh skaven to be drilling uh for warp stone oh um and what you can assume that you and you've heard about this before is like warp stone can be anywhere um so the the likely thing that you're you're suspecting is they're basically bringing up this slurry of gross 
you know, sands and oils and stuff. Um, and there might be warp stone inside of that. <laughs> oh, they'll save another warp stone. All they can't could, get enough of it. Fal- Phallus, Phallus shouts out, it looks like they're grabbing sediment from the earth to build a bigger <laughs> island. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. All I had in my mind when you were talking about, like, uh, <laughs> about it, bringing up, like, sediment and stuff and oil, I just had the, the idea at this point, like, it's always sunny Philadelphia style. It cuts, and the title is The Gang Cause an Oil Spill. That's <laughs> 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 all I had in my mind. It's just The Gang Causes an Oil Spill. I'm like, oh, this is going to end bad isn't it <laughs> uh, <laughs> well i mean it, it seems like there's already been a lot of oil spilt so how much worse can we make it oh exactly oh my god um okay cool that's good to know um so maybe you're digging for warp stone eh Ugh, that's not good that stuff's raw chaos i think Cass is going to climb up to the uh the hatch immediately here and uh kind of get positioned there uh well so i have more the boat and i'll uh i'll clamber up past after uh after Cass. Uh, I guess I'll provide covering fire. Can I act? I I mean, we're still at medium range or? We're under the platform, right? Correct. Okay, then I'll follow suit then. I'll I'll pull out my weapons and get ready to follow up to climb. I've got the the vulcanizer in the hand. All all right now, Okri and uh, and Phallus, listen up. I have Ekram's justice in one hand and Egla's punishment in the other. Oh my god. All right, Okri and uh, and Phallus, now you, you listen up. I understand, uh, Okri, you, uh, you seem to have some form of, of, of hate for these, these little rat people. Um, <laughs> Skaven and Dwarden are natural enemies. <laughs> but, uh, like Dwarden and the elves. I and feel it is our, and chaos. I feel it's our responsibility to give them at least one chance to, to talk this out. Cass, if you, if you get shot, I promise you, right now, here and, here, here and now, I'm looking like straight into Cass's eyes, if you get shot, I'm not giving you spheres to heal to heal you this time. That's uh, you gotta understand. I'm telling you right now. You're being awful passive aggressive. Uh, these rats. I understand. It's we'll <laughs> shoot you first, Cassie. Last, I think we better listen to Mister Okri. He's never led us wrong. This is no longer a reconnaissance. <laughs> this is no longer diplomacy. Yeah. <laughs> this is now a rat extermination. <laughs> All right. Well, I gotta go with uh, what my gut tells me, and that's uh, at least give him a, giving him a chance. All right. Sounds good. Phallus is already halfway down his toughness, so I'm like, I, he's not going to take chances. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop open the hatch, but I won't stick my okay. head up through it. Hey, questers, we're back. Thanks for checking out our Skaven Extravaganza or Excavenanza, something like that. I'll workshop that with Murray. Um, a couple of really cool things to talk about today. Uh, first off, uh, our Patreon is now live. So uh, we've been talking about this for a little bit on the Discord. Uh, and thank you so much for the folks on our Discord who've been providing feedback. It is now live. You can check it out uh, on our website at goquestword.com and you'll be able to see it in the top bar for Patreon. You can obviously just search it on Patreon for QuestWord and you'll be able to find it. Uh, We have two tiers to start off with here, basically slated to give you a couple different kinds of perks. Uh, I'm just going to talk about one really cool one that I really am excited about is uh, when the players are going to explore new hexes on our map, which you can find on the website as well. Sometimes these are going to be random encounters. Um, So if you're unfamiliar, uh, normally in an RPG, the DM rolls on a chart and, you know, picks uh, a random encounter. Uh, Instead of that, what I'm going to be doing as a DM, when I know they're going to a random hex, I'm going to put it up to the patrons. So uh, there's going to be a poll. There's going to be, you know, a few options. You'll be able to choose what uh, what lies in wait. Uh, Maybe it's a beastman ambush. Maybe there's a bunch of chaos dwarves doing whatever they're up to. Uh, Maybe it's something completely new and different. But it's going to be a really cool way, I think, to involve involve the community in figuring out, um, you know, what's next in the Slagmire Isles. So yeah, you can check that out. Uh, it is live. It should be live as of now. Uh, so yeah, you can check that out for our Patreon. Uh, also, wanted to just take a moment to shout out some super cool people who've left us some reviews lately. Uh, I'm talking about super cool cats like Gem KB, Spuddy Tooth, and Sproy923. Thank you so much. These are all uh, awesome people who have helped us out with a review on Apple Podcasts recently. If you want to help out, we really would appreciate if you could uh, you know, drop a review in there. Uh, it does help people, you know, check out the show who might not normally uh, be interested in giving it a try. Yeah, so we're still releasing episodes every single week. So if you want to come back for more Age of Sigmar, Soulbound, uh, actual play content, uh, we are back on February 17th for another ratty adventure. 
Thanks and see you then. Stick your hat on on your musket. Yeah, just, hello. <laughs> so yeah, you just you just fling open the hatch and just wait. Uh, yeah, and then I'll I'll call up to them, and be like, uh, "We would like to parley." Do an awareness mind for all three of you. An awareness mind. Okay. Uh, what's the number we're hitting? We're trying to hit on fours, four twos. All right, got it. Okay. Uh, could I? Is there? Is this five feet of uh, of so, of solid matter? <laughs> Can I just look through it? Can I use my <laughs> Can eyeball I look thing? Through it? <laughs> Can I use my eyeball thing? I, that's that's kind of a meme, but I actually think it would be <laughs> based on like this platform's like thick, dank thickness. It, it, uh, yeah, it probably actually would be five feet. <laughs> nice. Okay. Cool. So if, okay. Cool. So I can see through five feet. So okay. Sure. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's it's so it's it's thick. It's very thick metal. Like yeah, it's all good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's made out of lead. It's, oh shit. Um, but what you all three of you do see looking up into this hatch, and and you hear as soon as this um hatch lands, um yeah, you hear the scuttling of little little rat feet. Um, Aww. you know, you hear like this the giant yeah. No. <laughs> the giant uh, wheel is is churning around, and you hear like just like this massive chittering above you. Um, and uh, the, the the furnace is going. Um, you hear like this like sound of like sl sizzling slop kind of falling. You also just hear like a thick cloud of flies um, just buzzing around all over this platform. And uh, as you as you call up to parlay, you hear uh, a, a kind of a, a couple kind of rats kind of like you know chittering amongst themselves for a moment and then there's a there's a pause for about five or ten seconds what do you do in that period um well i'm prepping i'm prepping to shoot whatever looks over the the edge of this thing shoot a comment okay. at them <laughs> that's right shoot shoot a nasty stare no um i mean i'm i am trying to to diplomatically engage these guys but if they if they're aggressive like i'm, I'm protecting myself yeah, uh, Phallus will prepare a reaction. Uh, if he sees a threatening action, then he will mm -hmm. shoot. Okay. I'm going to infuse my uh, my Vulcanizer pistol with uh, some etheric augmentation. So for three rounds, it'll deal an extra damage. Okay. Um, so after a few moments pass, um, you kind of hear this like, uh, like it almost sounds like the, the slapping of meat against the top of the platform. Gross. It kind of makes its way slightly towards you. Uh, and you hear like a, a bubbly voice kind of uh, speak down to you like, Come, parlay talk, man things, now! All right, well, you, you hold your fire, and I'm coming up. Uh, remember, we're just talking. And uh, Cass is definitely going to put her hat onto her onto the end of her musket and raise it up. <laughs> okay, um, do all three of you come up? Well, no, uh, like, I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm testing the, the waters. First. I'm testing the waters right now. I'm, I'm not actually, like, um, going up. I'm, I'm just exposing my hat to see if it gets oh, shot. Oh, sure. You can tell that there's a Skaven that kind of like looks really quickly over the edge and then runs away. Um, but yeah, your hat does not get shot. All right, I put it back on my head and I'll come on up. Okay, um, just you or the others as well? Phallus will fall a little behind, uh, give her support. <laughs> He'll kind of like do his best to hide his weapons inside his cloak as he comes up. So hopefully they don't notice that he's still wielding his weapons. Sure. Mm -hmm. And Okri? I'm walking out, gun in hand. Okay. Down, but gun in hand. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Miss uh, Cassie Lass, I don't like this, not one bit. So you you arrive to the top of the platform, and the, the smell of tar is now supplemented by the intense stench of, <clears throat> like, just rotten flesh. Um, you see, uh, as you step out onto this, you know, general the hatch and kind of the area surrounding it, um, you just see... Aiming at you from uh, from below, you see that sniper nest that was targeting you. There's a couple um, Skaven weapon teams uh, looking at you. They have like these long rifles. They're positioned on the edge of their tower, now facing you. Um, you see just a, a general chittering horde of Skaven. Um, you know, we're talking about like you know 30, 30 plus clan rats. Um, they're like human-sized rats. Um, you know, they have basically like curved hooks in hand that have been rusted. Um, they look like they're covered in like boils and like matted fur. And, and they, so a lot of them even have like these barnacles kind of coming up along their sides. They look more like pirates than I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, so along this this whole thing, you see, um, I'll just describe the, the scene. Uh, we have a little map here that we're looking at. Hmm. 
right next to where you are, you kind of came up next to where you can tell that these uh, these rats have been sleeping and kind of generally making their camp. Um, so there's like these like warrens of like little den piles of loot and, and just scrap that have been kind of organized so they can kind of go in and sleep. Um, you notice that this giant central pillar is kind of bringing up uh, all the sediment from you know the the ocean's floor and it's basically dropping out into like a big trough of like viscous uh broiling you know semi-solid uh tar as it kind of like makes its way across and uh making its way through the uh the uh, crowd of rats you actually notice standing about a foot taller uh than the rest you see this rat uh who has you know his arms kind of folded behind his back um and you actually see uh, a pair of tentacles, basically, like octopus-like tentacles kind of coming out of his, like, shoulder blades. Um, one holding a pipe and another holding a rusty cutlass. Uh, That's so and he walks cool. towards you. And um, you notice he's got, like, this beard of, like, barnacles that kind of come down around his <laughs> cheeks and his chin. And they're, they're kind of, like, pulsing back and forth as they're almost uh, still alive. Uh, and he's got a pair. As you notice him breathe here. as he watches you, um, you notice he's got a pair of gills that flap in and out as he uh, he speaks. Part of the rig, part um, of the ship, part of the rig. <laughs> <laughs> is, if he's, is he going to ask us if we fear death? Because uh, <laughs> at this point, I do you I think fear? I think I've seen this in a movie before. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so to just, be, just to be clear. <laughs> 99 souls. <laughs> Um, so Sorry, just I'm to done. be clear, we're coming up where uh, the the hatch is in the top right section of the map we're looking at right now. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So for the audience, we have the hatch on the top right, which is its own area. We have the snipers' nest on the top left and the top uh, and the bottom right, which is their own areas. Uh, so we're all gathered right now by the hatch, or is, are they Correct. all spread out through the different areas? So the majority of these rats are going to be between, like, just the, the common rats are going to be um, between where their den beds are and around you kind of in the entryway. They're, they're, they're giving you, like, you know, 10 f feet of space. They don't want to get too close to you, you can tell. Okay. Right, yeah. Um, but uh, they, are, they are kind of spread across this entire area. <clears throat> okay. Um, so what bring you to my humble platform? Well, Cass, it's, go ahead. It's uh, nice, to, nice to meet you. My name is Cassandra. and. Uh... What is yours? I am Plague Admiral Skivvy Rankback. <laughs> and this is my crew. Well, all right there, Admiral. Uh, well, we, uh, we noticed your fine uh, platform here, and uh, we came as uh, diplomats of the Storm's Mandate. Uh, he doesn't know what that is, you can tell. No, he just doesn't really react. Um, but he kind of like pauses like, What do you what want? Speak, speak, what? Uh, I look over to Okri and uh, Phallus. Well, what what exactly do we want here? Uh, don't look, don't look at me. You're the uh, one who wanted to talk to them. Uh, right, so we're bringing people back to the fold. We are we are uniting the peoples of uh, the Slagma Islands. We are we are reaching out to you now to to see if you would like to participate. Man, it would have been easier just to shoot them all. <laughs> Curse my morals. So, Cass, why don't you go ahead and just do a roll for? Uh, for Guile Mind. Guile Mind. Um, and this is going to be an opposed. So just give me the amount of successes on fours. Okay. All right. Good thing I've got so much of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got one four. Beguiling cast. Okay. I got two threes, though. Um, real close, real close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you see the, this, uh, the Plague Admiral kind of regards you quietly, and he kind of like, um, slides his tail kind of slowly back and forth as he watches you. Uh, what what do you give to make uh, this work? Well, what do you have? Uh, we have uh, people and resources. What uh, what might you have? What uh, people resources have you? Mm -hmm. What what do we have? I don't know. Like I don't have a, a list of of the the details of of Torlin. <laughs> Maybe we should ask them what they need. All right. Well, that's a smart idea. Uh. Well, what what are you looking for in particular? Hey, tell tell me about what you are. Who are you? What brings you? What is Storm Mandate? Uh, we're a group of people that are looking to unite the islands of uh, the Slagma Islands, and uh, you know, unite under a single banner. As we uh, uh, group up, as we uh, become one, we uh, we become stronger. I believe there's something about Sigmar as well. We just had Sigmar Fest recently. I don't know if you celebrate. 
Cass uh, Cass doesn't know if that's going to upset them. <laughs> <laughs> um, you you notice the the rats kind of um, do notice you say that. You you actually notice like quite a few of like the more like you can you know, the more bright rats um, <laughs> kind of like take offense and they kind of like spit on the ground. The, the admiral just kind of watches you with like a, a neutral expression. Where where are you? Where where is this storm mending? Don't tell you three. Don't tell them. Don't tell them where we are. <laughs> Uh, we are we are all over the place. We uh, we, just like Sigmar's grace, we're everywhere. We have uh, <laughs> we have a handful of uh, islands under our, our protection, and uh, we have a mobile base as well. Mm. What mobile base? No, Carlos. <laughs> Uh, I believe you uh, provided you. Talking. I believe I pr- provided you plenty of information. Now, uh, perhaps a question from my side. What uh, what can you offer us? Mm, we have many things. We have great fleet of clan spilge rot, and we have so many resources. You would be surprised to know what we would have. But um, <laughs> why don't you tell me a little bit more about this uh, mobile base? All right, I want to oh, do an intuition uh, check what here. What islands? Are... Okay, sure. I, I feel like he's he's um, maybe overselling. Him. I feel like he's a little overselling, and I think he's just trying to pump me for information. Uh, sure, do an intuition mind. All right, we got... It doesn't matter what we tell them, as long as no one lives to tell the tale. Uh, <laughs> Truth. But then, where okay. will the stories come from, then? What uh, on fours? Oh, your intuition, mind. What did you get? Two, two. Okay. Um, you know, he seems really interested in what you're. Uh, you have to say, and um, you know, he's uh, he's open to receiving you. He seems very friendly. I think things are going well. I feel right at home amongst these folks. They seem like uh, in Cass looks around at their like basically rotting, <laughs> calcified messes of of rats, and uh, they look like a nice... Oh, you just don't understand the seafaring type cast, they last. <laughs> I don't... I je- as a player, I don't even know what to do here. I don't want to, like... I feel like killing all of them is just, like, so... I don't murder know. hobo? Yeah, it's very murder hobo, but also, like, what good can come of these things? <laughs> <laughs> well, here here's the deal. Like, if we can actually strike a deal with them, we will have... Like total naval control of the seas. Um, I mean, but the most likely thing that's going to happen is that they're going to turn, you know, betray us and stab us in the back. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah, they're they're kind of known for that, aren't they? They they are skaven. Yeah, yeah. Speaking out of character, like maybe instead of speaking with all these ears around, we can share more detailed information with just the captain at the oh, captain's quarter that's alone. True. That's true. And then we can murder him by himself in the room, and then come <laughs> out and say, like, oh, "I guess he didn't want to join us," and then we leave. Well, uh, what would Cass do? Oh, man. <laughs> I I genuinely don't know where I'm going at this point. I'm so like, I didn't expect to get this far. I thought we'd be shooting people by now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ask ask the parley by himself. Yeah, let's. Uh, well, uh, I I believe we have come to uh, some form of uh, understanding that uh, we are not hostile towards each other. I believe uh, as a captain or admiral of of uh, such stature that uh, the finer details of this conversation should be. Uh, more private. Do you have a uh, a location in which we could discuss this? Sure. Uh, why don't you go ahead and do a guile mind? All right. It's going to be uh, on fours, and we'll just compare. Also, like, does Phallus know if he's actually an admiral? Because admiral's like really high tier. You can call yourself. Uh, you can do you an want. intuition as well. Because I'm really good at intuition. All right. Guile I'll do mind. one as well. Guile mind. I got a <laughs> six, a one, and a two. Um. He uh, he mulls it over and says, uh, "One of you, one of me." Well, obviously it's going to be Cassie last because she's the best talker among us. <laughs> Cass looks, looks back and her eyes look like they're pleading. But we'll, we'll stay outside the door. Don't worry, Cass. I believe I might send in my, my <laughs> trading diplomat, uh, Okri Okris, in here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'll just walk up and just like... Okri just like stamps his feet a little and just like... <clears throat> and coughs. Well, no, I, I, have the, the, I have my helmet on, so it's an impassive face. So, But you can still tell the face on the mask is still un- disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> just... <clears throat> Cats turns in and shrugs. You, you do have yourself a silver tongue then, Mr. Okerson. Nah, I do. All right, Captain. Yeah, uh, Admiral, my bad. Uh, uh, Admiral, no, uh, Admiral. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's iron out, hammer out this deal in your quarters. Why don't we? 
Uh, he um, looks at you, nods, and, and motions for you to follow him. Perhaps, uh, perhaps I'm so while... glad that Okri is the best duelist of the group. Perhaps while uh, while you two uh, oh actually words, then uh, the rest of your crew could show us. Uh, perhaps give us a tour of your your actually, fine oil rig. Right, here. you you did give me a good point here. Uh, actually, as I'm going to start walking, I'm going to stop and I'm going to go. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't know much about nautical things. Uh, I'm afraid that probably our fine friend here, Phallus Olsen Boson, would be the best to deal with such... <laughs> make to make with such dealings. And he, he has an understanding of the nautical ru rules, uh, and as such... Who is leader here? Uh, he is. <laughs> I point to Phallus. Phallus gives, like, the most, like... Uh, like, what the heck is going on, face? You know, like, yeah, Cass, Cass, I don't Cass know what's going on. as well, and it's like, what the, what the heck, man? <laughs> Phallus, why don't you make dealings with this gentleman in his quarters? Just the two of you alone. Uh, Phallus kind of leans over and whispers, like, I have to be honest with you, Mr. Okri. I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> uh, give us one second here, please, Admiral. Uh, I'm not going to lead in. Team huddle. Real... Yeah, we do yeah. team huddle. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sidle up real close to Faust go, kill him. Kill him when he's alone. Okri, what are you What are you suggesting here? I'm Okri. saying we kill him very quickly and quietly. And then we'll be all right, because then they'll be in disarray. O Okri, I believe we were about to engage in some diplomatic relations. While I might not l like these <laughs> these people, they are still a people. Now's, now's not the time, <laughs> Cass. Now's not the goddamn time. All right, Fallus, Fallus is just like utterly confused. Fallus like looks back and forth between Okri and like Cass is like, ah. Oh. I I do not agree with this kind of subterfuge. Um, okay, so as um, as you are all like turned in, um, I want all of you to do an awareness mind oh, check, and then no. we all got shot in the back. <laughs> <laughs> And Okri says, yes, we go. Because Faust is not really paying attention to their conversation because he's utterly confused. Mm -hmm. He wrote a six, four, and four. I'm assuming fours are successes, so three successes. Four are successes. I, guess, I got one success. I got dose, so three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> I do think that we could use their, uh, their naval prowess. No, you can't talk. No, you can't talk anymore. <laughs> okay. You can't talk anymore. Something's happening. You know, you know like, the, uh, I don't know if you guys are following the, the GameStop meme stuff. There's that one where like, yeah. Big Bird's and the like, CEO... Oh, yeah. Just meeting, sitting there. Right? Yeah. yeah. So Faust is kind of like, mm, I don't know why ah. I'm here. <laughs> how how is it that I'm now a Fortune 500 company? <laughs> how? Why am I in charge? <laughs> Faust has always assumed that Mr. Okri was the leader of this ragtag man. This whole thing was your operation. <laughs> <laughs> you roped me into this. But yeah, with that in mind, he will be leaning more towards uh, Okri's instructions. Okay, there's going to be a surprise round. We're in combat. What's your initiative? Five. Five. I'll explain exactly knew it. what happens. Five. All of us yeah. five. You're all five now? Okay, what's the order between you guys? Phallus first. Ca Phallus right. cast. So what, what do Okri. I see? What is triggering my trigger happiness? I want to explain this, because you're not going first. Yeah. Okay. As this happens, you notice that um, Rankback is um, kind of like walks walks towards you, and from the two tentacles hanging over his head, you know he's got like um, uh, he he has two cutlasses out now, um, but more immediately he has a uh, what appears to be a blunderbuss in his hands that he's pulled from behind his back. Um, you notice that it is like this brass, like kind of oxidized brass kind of situation. Mm -hmm. It's got a pipe coming off of it that uh, it, where that go, the tube kind of coming off of it that hooks somewhere into his back. Oh uh, he's gonna fire. Faust jumps in front, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope I, um, it's not what he, I think it is. He inferred he was able to infer what you were doing while you were huddling. Ah, dang. Yeah. Plus, he's also paranoid. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well, if only Okri had just gone to talk to him. All right, so this is going to be a spread attack. He's <laughs> shooting the Dwarden with a spread attack weapon. Shooting me? Uh, yeah. Okay. What's your defense? Uh, my defense is uh, average. Okay, so he's on threes. Okay, so he's got five plus one. Okay, so six, but armor? It takes six, but armor, but as soon as it hits you, it slags off one point of armor permanently. Oh. Um, so what happens here is he unloads this like blunderbuss and it's like this spray of plague ridden shrapnel just like <laughs> leaves this, this huge cone and it hits Okri's center mass. Uh, and you just see it like flay off like these strips of armor. Uh, and then it's going to be spread attack. So you guys trying to find spread. 
Body oh, reflex. Uh, Phallus knows this. Yeah. Yeah, body reflex to have it? Uh, no, for per... So, uh, what is half damage? Half damage is three? Yeah. So each success will negate a damage. Okay. All right, body reflexes. Oh. Success so is on fours. body reflex on fours, yeah. I got two successes. And I got three. Two, okay. It negates one point of the damage. So yeah, it's not, and uh, Phallus, you have a point of armor, right? I have two points of armor. Uh, I'm assuming yes. the armor thing doesn't affect us because it's just it's just a spread. It doesn't. It didn't deal damage, okay. so it doesn't affect. Nice. Gotcha. Okay. Oh. So in a surprise round, you can only take one action. Uh, so that's his action for the turn. And then you, as this this kind of kicks off. Uh, you see, like, you know, all these um, rats are kind of, like, a little bit surprised. You actually notice that um, one of the rats kind of that was standing a little bit close to you, it got shredded apart by this <laughs> blunderbuss uh, and just, like, splayed itself open. It's combat, baby. All right. All right. Ow! <laughs> you, have, uh, you have made a grave error. Phallus, uh, would you care to do the honors? <laughs> yeah, so, because I know Mr. O he tried to do, the, like, the Mr. President thing. Oh, obviously, he didn't react fast enough. <laughs> president just got shot right in front of him. Um, is the admiral in the same area as us, or is he? I just want to know if I shoot him with a spread. I'm assuming if I shoot him with a spread weapon, it's not going to affect my friends. He is standing on the bridge over the tar trough. Okay, so it's a different area. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I will uh, pull out both my hand crossbows that I've been hiding underneath my cloak, hit nice. him with the repeater, and I'm just going to okay. use my full ambidextrous pool on his face. Oh, oh. Uh, which is seven dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can count. Oh. Um. So, uh, what are my successes? My accuracy is good. Okay, his defense is good as well. So fours? Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six successes. Nice. Okay. Uh, so that would do six damage to him back. So six back. Uh, him, um, I don't know if anybody's close enough to him to get hit by spread. Uh, no one's in the same zone over on that bridge, so no. Okay, uh, and then as a free action, uh, Phallus will shout, "Back down the hatch, we go!" Uh, oh, okay. I should uh, shoot him again, we? shouldn't I? I? I will, I will stay up uh, above until the rest of the guys have left. So I'm going to shoot him with my metal action. Okay. Um, he's got two cutlasses and a blunderbuss. Hey. Did I notice if any of his uh, shots, like, if he was wearing armor or anything like that? Mm, did, I, did I notice well, if all so, my damage went through, basically? Uh, no, it did not. It, he's got, like, this kind of, like, rusty, like, breastplate underneath, like, a long coat. Okay. Uh, I am going to... Cool. Yeah. I'm going to cool. go Banner, with please. a... I'm going to go with a disarm. Uh, so a... Okay. Uh, Call shot on his hands, which will increase his defense by one. So now I need five. Which, uh, which hands? Which arms? Uh, I want to disarm the blunderbuss. Smart. Okay. Yeah. I want him to come in close to us. Okay. Uh, so you're going to be on Oh, fives. I roll so much bad. So much bad. <laughs> so much bad. So much bad. I have three ones and two twos. Uh, can I salvage any of this? Oh my god, that's so bad. A two successes only. Yeah, the um, your what? What are you shooting him with? A crossbow? Yeah, the handbow. Yeah, the handbow. Yeah. Um, you see it. Um, you know, ring out and it just like sinks into his breastplate. And he doesn't even feel it. Oh, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Down the hatch, quick, quick. <laughs> uh, so that's your action and a metal. Do you move or do you stay? Stay. Uh, I'm stay. gonna stand my ground. Can I use my move action to dodge? No, that's a regular action, right? No. Yeah. yeah. I will stand my ground. Uh, try to position myself like in the uh, uh, through the line of sight so that my friends can get down okay all right uh it's Cass's turn right yeah okay hmm. so just to paint the picture of where everything is there's a swarm of 10 rats in the feeded entryway where you are right now um there's another 20 in the den beds wow and then there's three three gisales uh in the sniper nest right okay Cool. And then um, Rank Back is uh, on the bridge over the tar trough, right? That's right. So he's two zones away from mm -hmm. Is it Rank Back or Rag Back? Rank Back. Rank Back. Okay. So, smelly butt. Gotcha. <laughs> well, I ain't too happy about this uh, double cross here, Rank Back. So uh, unfortunately, I believe this concludes our diplomatic relations. I think I'm going to just pump him full of lead here. Okay. Um, just a regular attack on this one, and we'll see where that lands us. Rolling six. Uh, I've got good oh. accuracy. Uh, there's one thing that's happening nope. here. I apologize. Um, the shots you, you shot uh, are good. The, we'll, we'll make those still valid. 
Um, there is a swarm of flies in this area. Ranged attacks are going to go down by one step. Like one... Uh, they're going to get one step harder. Okay, okay. Did, did, they're attacking he, outside of did he take that, that detriment? Uh, well, it doesn't affect him. It's basically a cloud of nurgly flies. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So that would make me average instead of good. So you need fives. Yeah. Okay, so let's change that then. Uh... Because I, yeah. I believe I have a better way of dealing damage then. I'll, uh, I'll activate a Hail of Doom. Ooh. Cool. I'm going to target, I think, the, the zone next to us, which has just a ton of rats there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's 20, 20 <laughs> clan rats in there. Uh, cool. So I'm going to I'll just quickly pull up the rules again. You piss me off. Those guys are going to get punished. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to take care of most of the rats, um, if I can. I'm going to make a sure. DN41 body ballistics test um so i'm going to roll six die everything four and up uh is great so we're looking at five successes and now the rats okay. in that area each make a four one uh reflex so it's just an opposed now I, body and now i believe that's just per swarm right because it's just the one swarm oh is it a swarm not they're it's not swarm, each like their yeah. own thing. So they I, they will make one roll, uh, but then any yeah. damage they take will be double because they're a swarm. Got it. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, four one yeah. body reflex. Okay. So each four you make is negates one of the damages. So there's five damage coming your way. Correct. Uh, okay. Well, it saves one. Okay. So they take four damage times two. It goes down to four to eight, or does it do that at the end? So you, you, you yeah, so she, it's five damage minus one, so that's four, and then you times that by two, so that'll be eight damage. Cool. Yep. So Cass, uh, describe how you cut down eight rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Cass, Cass looks at rank back, that's the one. She yeah. looks at him, turns over to the rats over at the left, and just dispatches them with ease. Just fans out a couple of shots, sees a couple of them, <laughs> them drop, Mm -hmm. and uh, looks back to him to, as like a kind of intimidation tactic. <gasps> I'll go ahead and use a metal here to do another Finish action. Off the other half. <laughs> Honestly, not a terrible idea. I kind of want to... My plan here is to kind of like just maybe shoot this guy up and, and maybe drop him, try to intimidate the rest of his, uh, his crew. Uh, how do you guys feel about that? Yeah, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of rats. I don't want to take damage here. Is there a position that I can move myself into that would uh, allow me to break line of sight with some of these like I snipers? encourage you, after you finish your other action, jump back down the hatch. <laughs> you, yeah, you seem very adamant as, about as, that. As Falz was shouting, because that would uh, immediately remove all line of sight, and anybody who peeks, we can just shoot them. Right. That's a, I mean, if you're talking tactically, that's a terrible idea, because then now we're stuck on this oil platform. Well, we, we go back down to our boat, right? Yeah. We'll have to go that way anyways. And then what? What's happening in the moment, yeah. guys? What's yeah. happening yeah. in the moment? Phallus is shouting, down the hatch, down the hatch. I'll answer the question that Cass had asked. Uh, yeah, if you go down, you, they wouldn't be able to see you from line of sight. You do see like the center of this wheel. Mm -hmm. There's a ladder and like a kind of a hollow spoke in the middle of this wheel that you can actually go through. Oh, that seems like a good idea. I've seen that in the movie. As before. you're looking at it, oh. uh, as you're looking at it, um, you notice that this wheel is just full of rats. Oh. Oh, it's a little hamster wheel. <laughs> um, we'll do, a, do an awareness mind, everybody who wants to. Sure, why not? Oh, I mean, I always That's want to. Be to. Okay. Faust thinks this is not the time. I, <laughs> yeah. I got, uh, I got, all, everything's above four, so four oh, successes. Nice. So yeah, you, five you successes. notice that basically there's a bunch of like, um, even like grosser, shittier looking rats inside of this wheel. <laughs> <Just> shittier looking <laughs> bastard rats. And like you notice that they're like crawling on top of each other to kind of like power this giant wheel. Um so they're just like clawing and, and, and grinding through this thing. Like they're not like equally like moving or anything like that, but they're trapped in here. They're sealed in. And what oh. you notice is there's a cage at the top of the wheel, it's just hanging there. It's not being a, a, a affected by the wheel's movement. Um, and there's a pair of humans inside. Oh! Oh, thanks for making us not want to leave. Oh, cool. You can tell that, uh, you can tell that um, these uh, rats are starving, uh, and they are trying to get that cage. Oh. Wait, so we didn't see this when we were parlaying? Uh, you didn't look at the wheel before. It's true. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. true. None of us said, um, I look at the wheel. That's true. Yeah. None of us did say it. We, yeah, we, the attention was straight to rank back. Mm -hmm. What he do the humans look demand like? demand a lot of attention. Uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely in rags. Um, you know, I don't know if you'd necessarily be able to tell if they're starving or not, but it looks like they, they are fairly um, 
they're not they haven't been here for so long but they are relatively fresh probably within a week you can tell they've been scratched up a little bit Phallus, ain't no ain't no backing off of this one we gotta go full bore or not at all and she where is this rank back situated he's on like the he's on the bridge towards the south Cass, what are you doing this has just become worse and worse so one of those situations, I've been in D&D situations like this before, where it's like, we're gonna, we're gonna try and parlay, and then things just get worse and worse. Yeah, just, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to slap down another hail of doom into, um, that group of rats. In, uh, in the den beds? Yeah, yeah in the den beds. Den bed rats? Okay. Yep. yep. Roll it up. Uh, roll it you up. Can, you can finish them all off if you get a six and they don't save. I, I guess, maybe. Um, yeah. Okay. So I need fours and up, so I have four successes. Okay, they did get one success. All right, so six total. You have them again. Yeah. Um, and now I'm gonna six move. Left. Now I'm gonna move to a different position. I think I'm gonna go into the wheel spoke walkway because that seems like I'm not gonna be able to get shot from in there. Yeah. So just to be clear, there's nobody on the wheel spoke walkway, and there's nobody in that top left area right now. There is. You can't see the top left area from where you're standing. Okay. Um, you basically can't see anything uh, aside from like this general cone. Like this center pillar, like blocks your line of sight. The wheel blocks your line of sight, so you can kind of see like the den beds, the bridge, and most of the mustard mustard uh, yard. Oh, okay, um, I the get it. The mustard now. yard. <laughs> so basically, you you can kind of see like three quarters of this uh, right, circle. Yeah. So, so the shape. wheel, the, the the moving wheel is basically like a wall right now to our to our yeah. immediate left. Correct. Okay. Correct. And then in our area is ten rats, and then. Uh, to the other open area is now it's only now six, six rats. Yeah, correct. And then further behind correct. them is uh, probably rat more rats. Smelly yeah. butt. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going into the wheel spoke walkway. You're going in there. Okay. Nice. All right, Okri. Uh, I guess Okri's gonna get off from his knee because he just got shot with what shrapnel. And I guess mm -hmm, there's just like mm -hmm. this. What is like just like a circle on my chest of just melted armor. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just, yeah. Oh. Oh, no, your Iron Man armor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, on my Iron Man armor. One day. One day I'll fly. Okri, at the start of your turn, I want you to do a check for me. Oh, check of what? Plague. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, you're going to be doing a four, uh, fortitude body check on fours. Oh, no. Uh, you're going to do a four. Uh, you're going to do four. Uh, sorry, no, five two. Uh, five two? Yeah. I have five dice. Okay. Uh, I get one. Oof. You are poisoned. I'm poisoned. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah. Don't worry, you're only video game poisoned. It's not a serious. <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually poisoned. <laughs> nice. Uh, is it on this chart that we could just easily refer to? Second, it is. Dice pools reduced by one for all tests. Ah, that is a rough one. That's not good. Yeah, it is pretty brutal. It affected your lore. Yeah, nah. so Okri, you basically you go to take a step and kind of push yourself uh. up, and you almost feel like the blood, like in your stomach, kind of like ripples out to the rest of your uh. body, and you just feel like so fatigued. Uh, I need an IV drip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I see Cast. I, I also also assume my vision's starting like blur a little bit. Just like, oh no, <laughs> what's happening to me? Oh man, what am I gonna do here? Uh, there's still some in the den beds, right? There's still some rats. There in are the den six beds. in the den beds. Six, yeah. you say. Yeah. All right, I'm going to um, take a look at them and just go, all right, you bastards, and I'm going to fire up my atmospheric isolator, okay. and I'm going to cool. roll six dice. Deoxygen them. I'm going to take their breath away. Yeah. <laughs> Oxyclean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just double check to see what it does. Uh, I choose a zone within medium range. Each creature in that zone must make an opposed body fortitude test versus my mind. Crafting. Uh, creatures who fail the test take damage equal to the difference, and it ignores armor because there's no armor around your lungs. Uh, uh, so I assume it's on a four, right? Unless you have an iron lungs, mm -hmm. but yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. Uh, so I have four, <laughs> <laughs> four successes. Okay, they're going to roll a single dice. Oh, okay. And they get a six. Okay, so they take, so they take three. They take three, three, which is a does swarm. This double? Right? Yeah. Is this an area effect? Is it a swarm? Yeah. yeah. You got them all. So the remaining rats, um, you know, they've just been like hammer fanned or fan hammered or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> fan dangled. Uh, they've been shot, fan dangled, bamboozled even. Uh, that was us. And uh, the remaining, <laughs> the remaining rats. <laughs> they they thought this was a parlay. Their captain did a thing, and they're like, "Wait, what?" And then they all just got <laughs> ripped apart. Yeah. It's what they call a scaven parlay. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you just see them like clutching up their throats. Um, they fall to their knees and like slowly kind of like curl up on the ground. Um, you notice one uh, pulls out. 
a stopwatch from the back pocket. They open it up and there's a picture inside. They look at it for a moment and you see the picture of this giant broodmother rat. Um, they just like run their finger along it for a moment and then they uh, they fall dead. And then and his friends are like, it was just one day from retirement. Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> Good riddance. Oh, God. And so that was my one regular action. Uh, and then yep. my on my other one, I'm going to use my metal and I'm going to shoot at Skankback. Uh, stank back. <laughs> that was on purpose. Uh, also not correct. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> rank back. So I, I, I'm going to yeah. shoot at rank back. Sorry. Let me just try He's that again a, with no laughing. Tattoo on his back. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how he got his name. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, okay, so I have minus one dice, so I get uh, I'm at four dice. <laughs> God, uh, what am I sh looking for here? Uh, so his defense, yeah, what his defense is on. I am a good shot. His average defense, um, but he's got the the cloud of flies around him, right? Um, so basically, effectively, that reduces the the ladder. So normally you'd be on threes, but it goes up to fours. Okay, yeah. So on on fives, uh, I got two two hits. Yeah, one of them was a six, which means he has. I have permanently stripped one point of armor from him. Nice. Tit for tat. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Shoot him. That's good, actually. That actually sets up the call shots better. How much damage total? Three. Three. And then the, the armor strip comes off after, Yeah, right? so it's the same as mine. So the armor strip comes off after that okay. attack. Cool. cool. Good old rend. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move towards the, the wheel spoke walkway as well. Yes, that's perfect. All right. Welcome to the, to the walkway. Hey, well, uh, Phallus, Phallus looks uh, like that's not where the hatch is. <laughs> <laughs> the hatch is right here, literally right in front of us. I disagree. I, I disagree with your tactical assessment there, Phallus. Yeah, I believe so. we are screwed if we go down there. Okay. So <laughs> this is kind of funny. So there's a swarm of ten rats around Phallus. Mm -hmm. uh, nine, because one one got one got killed. I'm right in my element. Doesn't uh, doesn't he have a movement action kind of stored away or something, or is that not a thing? I didn't. I decided not to use it because okay. I was waiting for you guys to, to get in there. All right. Well, uh, sorry for leaving you high and dry, but uh, that's okay. Uh, uh, Phallus was planning to be the last one leaving, anyways. Okay. That's exactly well, where he wants might be to the be. Last one. <laughs> he might be the last one leaving, depending on how this round yeah. goes. He's um, exactly who he wants to see. be, surrounded from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not locked in with you, <laughs> etc. Cetera. etc. Cetera. What's your armor? What's your defense? My defense is now good. It's on fours. Please tell me they're all shooting at me and then at each other. It's your armor. My armor is two. Uh, okay, so you take um, three damage through your armor from rank, uh, from this, and you um, so rank back. Um, you know, it does like a little, and you actually see like the tube on his back like pulse as like a big. It's it, it kind of stretches and like lets another uh, fume of of this poison gas into his blunderbuss. He aims down the barrel and just fires at you, and you can see it kind of kicks him back a lot. And you actually feel this um, this shrapnel soar into your chest, uh, and you get struck again. It peels off one point of your armor permanently. So permanently meaning like we'll have to repair it or yeah correct yeah. okay correct um so how much damage did I take you took three damage through your armor like after your armor deduction so, so the, he did five damage in total he did five he did five. okay right. and this was I a range attack helpful, yeah. so my defense is actually great because of the range attack against me right because of my cloak oh your cloak okay right so you technically have the same thing as that's why Murray asked if he uh, if it was a ranged attack mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well then let's let's back up a sec because uh, fortunately for you, he got two fours. Um, so he actually only does three to you. Um, so only one goes through, and I still lose my armor. It you still lose your armor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's one of his. Uh, the next thing he's gonna do. I'm gonna need a sea dragon poncho at some point here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go hunting the sea dragon with me, Cass. I'll make one for you. Something tells me that is not how you acquired your sea dragon cloak. You know, I was trying to buy one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Two hundred and sixty drops, according to the uh, the book. That's actually reasonable. <laughs> well, I mean, Phallus's background stories is that he makes stuff out of the things he kills, right? So, I mean, not very well, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Cass I'm, doesn't know that. I'm still waiting for him to pull out the rat tail. Yep. <laughs> um. So you have. Uh, 
All right, you see uh, Skivy rank back. Um, he kind of has this like big book at his side. Um, he pulls it out for a moment, and you actually see it flow with arcane energy. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I hate and... magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's going to do an arcane bolt. Or sorry, arcane, yeah, arcane bolt, oh. which is going to be on. This is with his uh, metal. He's going to be doing this. Good to know. Uh, you suffer three damage. Uh, does it ignore armor? Uh, it does not ignore armor. Okay, so I will take two damage. Yeah, so he basically like um pull. It's almost like he pulls like this sickly fly out of the book and like just throws it at you. Oh, uh, no, the uh, magic fly like, rips through you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the worst of both worlds. <laughs> so Cass and Okri are on this like walkway, and and they like their vision is obscured for for most of the uh, the platform because of their positioning. Um, yeah, so the big pillar blocks your line of sight to the, the Admiral, right? Yes, so from our perspective, we just see Phallus, like, out in the open, take, like, a, a vile shot to the chest, and then a fly comes and, like, hits him in the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun visual, like, uh-oh. <laughs> and we're just both like, ooh, ah, ah, ooh. He's gonna shoot again. What? He's got action, metal one, metal yeah. two. He's gonna fire with his blunderbuss. <laughs> oh, that's no good. No, yeah, that's not good. I have great. Okay, yeah, makes sense. I really wish I disarmed him. <laughs> so uh, do we. <laughs> he gets uh, two fives with a plus one, so he gets three. Okay, so I am in my wounds now. Okay. Damn. And do I lose another armor? You do lose another armor. All right, so I have no more armor left. Wait, what? I thought we. I thought it was on sixes that like rolled sixes. Rend, right? Not his. Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah. What do I know? That put me in my place. <laughs> <laughs> one of them went to my armor, one of them went to my toughness, and I took one more extra damage, so that means just one wound, yeah? Yeah, minor wound. Okay. Yep. A minor wound. Oh, I don't feel so great now. <laughs> Mr. Okri, I don't feel so good. <laughs> as, a, um, as a player, this is cathartic to be the one that's not taking all of the damage. But, I bet. Uh, I bet you're like, oh, thank God. <laughs> As a character. Well, Phallus, Phallus tried to do like a little heroic stand here to help you guys get away. Oops. Safe yeah. as friends. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so, I feel so bad for Phallus. Like, he's like, okay, get out of here. I'm going to hold them off. And then they <laughs> that's, 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 run <laughs> into the fortress. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. All right, guys, fucking, run back to the boat. He just gets nukes. <laughs> yeah. Run back to the boat, guys. Uh, guys? <laughs> well, I was, I think Cassie had the right idea. He's like, what are we going to do? Like, we're just, all right, time to start rowing away, getting shot by Jesse. Yeah, that, like, that's I not mean, they only get two out. crack shots at us. As opposed to however many rounds we're going to be here for. But Back to Torland for, for a spa day. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the swarm of clan rats that's in the, the feeded entryway, um, seeing all this chaos uh, kind of going off around them, they're going to actually rush after the people in the wheel spoke walkway. Hey. So um, oh, thanks, you have uh, Okri and Cass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so merciful. Uh, he, he never shows that mercy to me. What the heck? <laughs> the, the Jezail still haven't gone. Um, the, uh, the clan rats, uh, seeing these, uh, these two mooks, uh, scramble through the walkway they they move in um so you just hear behind you as you guys are going through this this hollow uh tubing um you hear them scrambling up the uh ladder behind you and they uh, they charge in so let's see what happens with nine rats they go, go up the ladder single file yeah how do how do these rats explain how these <laughs> nine rats manage to get all their attacks in on uh in this very slim uh walkway <laughs> Yeah, please justify well, it. I mean, it's a swarm, so they really only get one attack anyways. Uh, it's just one guy yeah, who yeah, is like, like well supported yeah. by the rest of them. And, like they're they're all encouraging him. <laughs> exactly. doing this. Yeah. 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 Woo. Yeah. Woo. Get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> get him, Nikki! You got him! Yeah, got him. The guy's oh throwing his knife from one hand to the other. Like yeah. one guy's just wearing red <laughs> shorts. Dog. Apparently, yeah. Oh boy! Yeah. Just a bunch of greaser rats. Hey, <laughs> stick them. <laughs> Who who went in the tunnel last? Uh, me. Okay, Okri. So technically, oh, it's a tunnel now. It's whatever it's Dave needs it to be. <laughs> so it's a walkway. It's a walkway. <laughs> it's a pedestrian cross. Okay, so it's two d six as of their base profile plus one d six for every additional rat. Um, so it's going to be two plus three plus three plus two. Yes, it's ten. Here we go. All right, Okri, what's your defense? My defense is good. Oh, uh, no, average. Okay. 
Average, they're poor. Sick. So it goes it goes poor to average, right? Uh, Correct. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so they're on fives. He's got the high ground, Anakin. They get uh they get four plus one. So five damage. Five damage? Okay, so yeah. two go into my Whoa. toughness. Rolling um, rocks, Dave. So then it's Yeah, it's uh two fives, two sixes, baby. Jeez, nice. cheese on rice. So you said <laughs> five total, rice. right? Or six total? That was uh four plus one, so five. Five. Total. Okay, so I take uh two and then so three go into my wounds, which is a I believe three is a deadly wound. Is no, it's a serious wound. So it takes okay. two of my. So this is a this is a vermintide situation. You know, you're you're heading, you're running through the hallway. Um, they're kind of coming up behind you, and they're just like clawing and slashing at yeah. you. I'm just smashing mouse. Like, please get them away. <laughs> smashing mouse. <laughs> just no. uh, wait. Does po- poison doesn't affect your defense? Does it? No. No. Nope. I assure only when he doesn't. rolls. Only when he yeah. rolles. <laughs> now there's the Jezails. The what's up? Who's the snipers? Oh. They were hitting you before. is just a fancy word for a big rifle. Um, it's a fun word. I thought it was like a, an antelope, you know, like a zeal. That's a gazelle. Oh, yeah. the, the, there's a bunch of gazelles charging <laughs> they're, they're you right now. They're gazelles down um, from the towers. The gazelle rifles, so your defense of is, course. So your defense is great? Against range. Okay. Uh, so they didn't move, so they're going to get an advantage. So they're going to be on uh, fours. All ones. Oh, great. Five, four, four, three. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> These are these are rolling a little bit hot today. Are you rolling D8s? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh dang. Yeah. This is this, this is like D D, right? System, We're rolling D20s. Yeah. 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 He's rolling D10s. What are you playing? <laughs> uh it's uh three damage penetrating. Although I don't think that matters. I have no armor armor. Uh so yeah. three damage, how many wounds do I take? I'm already in my wounds. Uh that's a serious wound. Two spaces really? on your wounds. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, should be... it goes minor, serious, deadly. So uh, like zero to two is minor. Okay, so this is yeah. I was thinking it shouldn't be a serious wound. Uh, let's see. It's Where minor, serious, the... deadly is the the track. I know because I've taken all the wounds on the two to four party. damage yeah, is a four, serious wound. Yeah. yeah so. Okay, so yeah, then I take two more wounds. Yeah. Yeah. I am down to my last wound. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, the next one shot. Okay. Got two uh, two sixes and two twos. Okay. Um. So it's two damage uh, with uh, penetrating again. Uh, so that'll be one more wound. So I'm at zero wounds now. Do I dead on zero or no? Phallus, you're you're not dead, uh, but you're close. Uh, so you're standing defiantly over top of this escape route, heading down to your ship. Uh, you're facing down a sniper's nest of Skaven Gisales, along with Plague Admiral Rankback. And he, you know, he's still clutching this uh, plague blunderbuss in his hands. Uh, you're super low. You know, we see the wheel is still turning away. Um, dangerous smoke is, uh, you know, billowing out. And we're going to see what happens next time on Questward. <laughs>